everybody, Mount Dumaney here, and welcome back to The White Wolf of Icicle Creek. This is a Nancy Drew mystery. Uh, I, I bet an older one, I admit. Uh, it came out in June of 2007, but it's probably one of my all-time favorite, and I wanted, to, I wanted to play it. So, let's go ahead and get started. If you go back to the first video... I basically just kind of showed you all this stuff, the case file, what our case is going to be. And in order to get started, all we got to do is click the ticket. Here we go. Um, we'll go with Junior. It doesn't really matter. When Chantal told me you were just a young thing, well, I thought she was pulling my leg. But you're not much older than my little girl, Freddie. Well, if one of the people at the lodge is to blame for all those accidents, Chantal thinks somebody like me has a better chance of figuring out who it is than somebody more, you know, hard-nosed. Chantal has a bad habit of making up her mind without thinking things clear through. Uh, no need for you to tell her I said that, of course. Is she still in Edmonton? Afraid so. Insurance company's given her and her lawyers a real hard time. Left running the lodge up to me. Which is why I'm not real crazy about the idea of having somebody new underfoot. Especially if something else happens. I won't be underfoot, Mr. Randall. And I may be young, but I'm no novice when it comes to solving mysteries. We're here, so you'll get to prove yourself soon enough. Ooh. You hear that? Yeah, did you? Well, now, what was that? Did you guys... Ooh... No, ma'am. Uh, everyone here at the lodge is accounted for. That's where Elsa and Becky had been living. Guess it was a good thing they quit after all. Elsa was my maid and Becky was my cook. Does the sheriff have any idea why the bunkhouse exploded? He said he'd know more after the lab was done running tests on the debris he'd collected. He did say the blast was pretty powerful. One of his deputies found the knob to the back door clear out on the highway. Good that Lord. does it. Nancy, you have to find out who or what is behind these incidents, and you have to do it fast. You sure you don't want to give your daddy a call? My dad runs a whole chain of resorts, Ollie. If you think I'm going to admit to him that I can't handle running just one, guess again. Besides, Nancy comes highly recommended, and I'm sure she's got a foolproof plan for getting to the bottom of this. Don't you, Nancy? Uh -huh. Well, I was thinking that maybe I'd just be your new maid. Wanna be my maid? That would give me access to everyone's room, and I could question people without making them overly suspicious. Oh, yeah, that's an excellent idea. All right, you're my new maid. In fact, you're my new cook too. What? Your cook? Well, that way, Ollie can stop pretending he can even read a recipe, let alone follow one. You'll have even more excuses to talk to the guests, and I won't have to pay anyone. Why, well, I think that's a fine idea, ma'am. Now, we're not taking any more guests until this accident thing is cleared up. So I want both of you to make sure that the four guests we have are well taken care of. Especially that Olympic-caliber cross-country skier from Fredonia, Yanni Volstaya. The flair he brings to the lodge is just what I need to attract the European jet-setting crowd. Uh -huh. I'm going to be pretty busy trying to get rid of that wolf, Chantal. We heard it howl last night, just before the bunkhouse blew up. Tino Balducci. I'll get you a master key and leave it in your room. If you need anything else, I'll be in the basement. Well, okay. Huh. That was fun. Oh, see, I go that way. Uh oh. Sorry, guys. Had a horrible cough attack. <laughs> okay. So, as the maid, I got to do daily cleaning, pick up laundry bags at the front desk, available after 5.45 in the morning, enter and clean only those rooms displaying the housekeeping sign, make the bed, remove used towels and washcloths, 
All rooms display in the house game sign must be cleaned no later than noon. When finished, drop the laundry down the chute at the top of the stairs by the restroom. Skating oh, here. pond maintenance. Okay. Oh, here. looks like I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything while I'm here. Oh, good lord. Some section of the ice will be very thin due to hot spring activity. Pay close attention to the color of the ice and only shovel off those areas which are safe to skate on. Ooh. The shade of the ice will reveal how many adjacent ice grids have dangerously thin ice. Be sure to mark these areas with an orange safety cone. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow. Report all avalanches to the avalanche patrol. Oh, okay. Great. Great. That's what we need. Wolves and avalanches. There's the sheriff's number. That's sauna. Employees should remember that heat and moisture sometimes cause the door to stick. Check to me. Okay, okay. Okay, so I have to cook, too, besides being the maid. Breakfast is served from 7 to 8. Wow. Lunch is served from noon to 1. Good Lord, how am I supposed to do all this? 7 to 8.15. I'm writing this down so I don't forget it. Lunch is noon to 1. Dinner is six to seven. Hmm. Okay. So here's the master. This must be the key Ollie said he'd leave for me. Okay. There's and this must be a list of which guest is in what room. That'll come in handy. Yeah, it will. So there are six. Oh, there's me. And five other. Oh, there's a vacancy. Lou Tabont, Bill Kessler, Guadalupe, Camillo. Yanni Volkstock. Good lord, what a name. Yeah. Okay. Now, it did say in the instructions, if I want it to be a certain time, all I have to do is just set the clock to whatever time I want it to be. So, that will come in handy. Let's see. Uh... Oh, can I not, um, oh, okay, there we go, okay, so there's my luggage, if we hit on a clue, the little magnifying glass turns red, so it's already after nine, so I don't have to do breakfast, but I probably will have to do lunch, okay, all right. Ooh, okay. Nice. So, hmm. Do I need to go ahead and do housekeeping? Okay, there we go. Ooh. Let's see where the, oh, here's the desk. Okay. Uh, oh, what's all this? Let's see. There should be some laundry bags. Laundry bags. Okay. Oh, what's this? Looks like Elsa was having major boyfriend problems. Major boyfriend problems. Hmm. They're saying you weren't coming. I didn't get sad. I got mad. Can't believe you think working as a stupid maid at some stupid lodge... Or some stupid lady, whose name I can't even pronounce, is more important than spending time with me. But didn't love you so much. I'd tell you to go take a flying leap. But since I love you more than anything, I'll just have to do something else. Like maybe take your precious collection of troll dolls out of the box you stored in my garage and dump them down the disposal. Oh, good lord. Maybe I'll sell them on eBay for a nickel apiece. I don't know how else to make you understand that I love you with all my heart and I always will. Yeah, boy, that's that's some love for you right there. Wow. 
Let's see what this is. Dear Sansa, you said in your letter you love me forever back, but if that's true, why'd you put off coming here to see me? When I heard you weren't coming, I stopped and looked around because it felt just like somebody had walked up and stabbed me through the heart. Good lord. I'm starting to get real jealous of that lodge you work at. You spend way more time there than you do with me, and I don't like it one bit. Can't help myself. I'm so in love with you, it's getting hard to see straight. Oh, good God, people. Well, anything well that was true. The same truth is that I'm going to love you forever. Sometimes thinking about forever makes me dizzy. Like when I start thinking about the sky and how it doesn't stop at the moon or the sun or even the Milky Way, but just keeps going and going and going. But when I think about you, forever seems totally cool because it's one thing to just keep going and going and going by yourself, but to keep going and going and going with somebody, that's awesome. Write me back as soon as you get this. I can't wait to see you next week. Love forever, L. Good God, son. Okay. Um, is that all there is? Oh, oh here's... Oh, what's this? Chantal, this is my formal notice of resignation. Please call me at 555-2383 if you expect any delay with the check. Elsa. Oh, okay. While I've enjoyed being in service with you and the staff, <laughs> no longer feel safe with all those accidents going on. Put a claim in your insurance company for the damage sustained to the tires by the wolf. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. Um. What is all this? Maid duties. Okay. Avalanches. Okay. Sauna. Cooking. There's a manual. Thank God there's a manual. Okay. Oh, okay. Here's everybody's phone numbers. Awesome. Pinevale Hospital. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, can I do anything? Oh, okay. Tell us about the fish. Ooh, okay. Tell us about birds. Um, oh, okay. Hypothermia risk. That indicates it's safe to go outside. Yellow indicates caution. Exposure indicates danger. There's high risk. Oh. Green, yellow, orange, red. Okay. That should be kind of... Oh, okay. Here's everybody's phone numbers. Previous Contents year. Contents deleted. Wonder why. Deleted? Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Go... Okay, this must be the, um, okay. All right, cool, all right. Hmm. Yeah, oh, I can, oh, that's pretty. Uh, ooh, okay. Nice. 